every uh, uh, level, uh, every budget. Uh, so if you don't want to spend uh, big money, you can travel like as a bikepacker or by motorbike uh, and uh, to, uh, for example, Europe, which is a cheaper and easier way. Our manager, Julia, uh, in charge for uh, Northern Europe direction and uh, Tamara in charge for South Europe uh, direction. So you can uh, address your question uh, for two girls uh, about uh, planning, uh, booking hotels, uh, ways and good advices for... I think it's better to say representatives, because like girls is like not really... So not the, very, not the best, yeah, not so formal, right? Okay, so uh, if you have uh, any questions, uh, please address. Uh, if you still uh, planning to uh, spend thousand or higher, uh, you can uh, fly uh, to the east, uh, especially if you uh, interested in uh, Eastern culture. Uh, so uh, our representative. Alex in charge for India uh, region and uh, Mr. Anton in charge for Tibet and China uh, destination. And uh, uh, I'm impressed with your uh, idea to travel to USA. I plan to, to visit USA. So if you want to fly to the United States, uh, call to me. We can fly together and stay in London for three days for testing uh, pub, pubs, bars. <laughs> Uh, so now I um, keep silence. Uh, may I make uh, possible to my team to represent the destinations, please. Okay, I would like to be the first. And as we, as you see, we have something in common. For example, China and India. And as far as China is concerned, well, I'd like to visit those attractions which are not very popular. Uh, which are, let's say, the opposite that we can see in our ordinary life, for example, in Belarus. For example, it's very unusual for me to be somewhere in the mountains, and that's why I decided to travel to the Himalayan, Himalayan mountains. For example, if I'm not mistaken, there are a huge number of churches or holy places which are abandoned, or which is, there is a very small small group of people where, where they live, but uh, they have very, well, they have very strong traditions and if you'd like to visit these places and if you're not fear, afraid of heights or have an acrophobia and if you have strong leg, I mean legs, to ascend to these places, uh, I'd like you to visit these places. Well, descent. Descent? To climb? Ah, just, oh, climb. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and then, yes. And also, there is another place to, to be interested in visiting. It's called Tibet. I think, for now, it is some sort of hinterland. It also has a very good and rich uh, history uh, since the Second World War. And I think it also has very good um, places and uh, just say, attractions to see, some sort of landmark of itself. And also, as far as in general, speaking about China, we have, what we have in common with Belarus is, for example, our fastly developing strong diplomatic relations, and so we also China, they have very cheap facilities, cheap food, cheap uh, hot hotel accommodations. So also, if you are a low budget tourist, it's a place with like you're you're about your strongly mm, welcomed to visit and uh, advised. Advised, yes. So it's pretty sure that I think it will be very nice to someday somehow. China, but also we have India, 
something unusual, something not boring. So imagine you go to uh, Europe and uh, everything is totally safe. So uh, you're not in a danger and it means it's not an adventure. <laughs> so it's boring. Uh, but if you go to in India, so India is the coolest country in the world. And uh, there are a lot of danger in there. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Uh, our telephones, contacts, website, you can write uh, down. <laughs> right.